Hey, we're at ICAST 2023, guys. We're gonna show you around, we're gonna do some things. Got my buddy Joey, he come out here with me, so I'm not all alone this year. We are going to find some stuff. Now listen, everybody hears about the stuff that you get to see on Best of Show and this, that, or the other. You guys know what I like to find you are the small companies, the small bait makers that are really making the cool stuff, the stuff that is different, Probably not gonna be a lot of game changers though. We're gonna try and stay away from that word. All right, let me show you around. How we doing everyone? Ross Evans from TFO Rods. We're hanging out in the booth at ICAST 2023. We've got two new series of bass rods that should be very exciting for all of the followers of Bass Geek. The first rod line we're gonna talk about is our Option Bass. Option Bass, 10 rods total. Seven of the casting rods, three of the spinning rods, total of 10 rods. We've got sea guides on them. We also did something we do on all of our bass rods we've got color coding for the powers so when you look in your rod locker box you can figure out medium light medium medium heavy heavy action rods just by the color of them if you don't have them set up eva grips on the option bass going to come in at 149. in addition we have the new taction line taction means feel or touch this is a more tournament driven series has everything from fast and um, moderate fast actions, depending on whether you're using moving baits or maybe you're dragging on the bottom. This rod line has 14 rods. We've got 10 casting, we got four spinning. I wanna show you one really cool one. The new 744 spinning rod. It's a moderate fast spinning rod. I think the geek is definitely, definitely gonna like this for throwing underspins, Kitex, anything on that more moving end of things. We got some Michigan Pro Staff guys that are gonna be throwing tubes on it, ripping big tubes, also blade baits, different things like that in the winter. It's gonna be a very versatile spinning rod for your moving bait type applications. On the other end, we've got a really cool rod. Here it is, 745 moderate fast this is your chatter baits your lipless crank baits your big square bills your medium sized crank baits covers a whole host of options for you and then we've got a whole range of everything from seven foot up to seven ten mag heavies so we got you covered for every bait in your boat all 48 lower states you guys up in alaska maybe there's a fish up there in a bass that you can catch hawaii you guys might be on your own we got you covered here check it out tforods.com hey everybody this is larry johnson from j bros lures and you know what we're here at icast 2023 our first year and i want to say thank you to all your support but i'm going to pass it over here to caleb he uh came to me four years ago and said dad we need another worm so i'm going to let him tell you about this worm so this all started when I was at breakfast one morning. I drew this up on the back of a coloring sheet. I told my dad, this is the new worm that we need to make to make it better than everybody else. Six or eight revisions later, we came up with this Trifinity Worm. With this Trifinity Worm, I like to shaky head it mainly. Pull it through the grass really tough, but there's also much more things you can do with this, like Texas rigging it, and even using it as a trailer for a jig or just a Texas rig in general. Hey guys, Larry Johnson back here again. Our first year at iCast, new product showcase right here. This is our four and a quarter Jester. Uh, this is our uh, Procore technology that we have here. This is our morning dawn color. We offer so many more different colors, 15 colors in all with the Jester. Big mop jig trailer, buzz bait, spinner bait, chatter bait trailers for those bigger baits. Uh, you can uh, Texas rig this. 
as a creature bait, flip it in weeds, flip it up in brush. I mean, if you won't even want to swim it, you can do that. But this is our first rendition of the our creature bait, uh, the four and a quarter jester. The 10 inch sentinel tubes right here, baby. This is our first entry into the saltwater line. We have a solid head here, and we also have a hollow head that's gonna be a line through. So with that line through, you're gonna be able to choose your weight and your hook that you wanna use with this bait, or use your favorite one, two, or three ounce jig head to open hook this, or a 10 odd hook here in the back. But this is going to be catching all kinds of cobia, barracuda, hopefully snapper, uh, big redfish, rockfish out in the salt water. But hey, musky and pike guys, I haven't forgot about you too, because we can use it here also. So check us out, jroselures.com. Thank you all again for all your support. I appreciate it. Hey, Dan Miguel here, brand manager for Great Lakes Finesse. Um, actually started this company, built it out of passion. Many years ago, we realized using really small baits on light line caught giant fish. So we were able to get fish that other people couldn't catch. Uh, so we packaged all our secrets into the Great Lakes Finesse brand. Um, so all our tournament secrets are right here, right available out of the package. What makes it unique is that, you know, we used to rub our baits in the bottom of our carpet to try to knock off the shine. And uh, right out of the package, um, it's a matte finish. So there's no glare, it's super natural. You can definitely see that with like the craw. So, you know, stuff underwater isn't shiny. Um, it's just when we pull out of the water, it's wet and we think, oh, everything needs to be shiny and glossy. But big little secret is to, uh, to knock that glare off. The second thing is all our baits, you know, especially smallmouth, but all fish, you know, they're visual feeders, specifically smallmouth, but all of our, um, our baits sit perfectly level in the water so they don't float like other baits on the market and they don't sink. They're gonna like, you can literally dead stick this thing and it's gonna sit perfectly level. So that's perfect for, you know, drop shotting at specific targets and you wanna just hold that bait there and you want that minnow just sit there and that tail move a little bit. Uh, if you're bed fishing, you know, just drop it on the bed, let it sit there, it'll drive them crazy, eventually they're gonna bite. So if you wanna catch fish faster, this neutral buoyancy is an absolute game changer. And I've had so many brands and, and people ask, how do you do it? We're not saying because they all want to know and because uh, it is an absolute game changer in the drop shot game. Uh, one of our secret little baits, this is our little flat cat. So it doesn't look like much, um, but in my opinion, it's the biggest fish catcher that we've got. It mimics, you know, it was inspired by a baby catfish, but it can mimic um, little minnows, uh, little gobies if you're in the north, all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's so unassuming. It sits flat, you can rig it on a ball head, you can drop shot it, and man, this thing, I don't know what it is. Honestly, if, if I knew, I'd tell you, but man, it catches giants and it catches a lot of fish. Uh, the other thing that might be of real interest, and this is like, I believe this is the next big thing in smallmouth. Um, you know, if you thought the hair jig was big, the sneaky underspin, this is a, this is an underspin that's designed for small, sneaky little baits. So if you're a, a 2.8 swim bait person, like a Kai Tech Fat, a Jackal Rhythm Wave, you like fishing those tiny little swim baits, especially in the fall, in the, in the winter, in the spring, when they're chasing those little tiny minnows, this is perfect to imitate that. What makes this bait really special is the premium Gamagatsu hook. So it's fine wire, but it's gonna penetrate on light line, like four, six, eight pound test. What makes this thing really special is that eye right at the front of the head. So most underspins swim down, face down, because it drags. But this thing's gonna swim perfectly horizontal in the water. Those live eyes will trick them. And all stainless steel ball bearing and, and stainless steel blade makes this thing spin at the slowest speed. So we're just reeling these things really, really slowly, uh, just keeping it off the bottom. And man, this thing is a fish cat. I call it the lake vacuum because it, it catches everything, not just smallmouth, not just bass panfish, walleye, anything in the lake will eat this thing. So, so definitely get yourself some of these sneaky underspins. The, um, the whole product line is designed to catch big fish. So uh, everything we make is designed to catch six, seven, eight, nine pound fish. So premium components, 
Yamagatsu hooks, powder coated and baked finishes on the on the paint job, so that way, no matter what, you're not gonna be chipping any of that paint. So get yourself some Great Lakes finesse. You're not gonna be disappointed. You're gonna love this stuff. You can get it at LureNet.com uh, or and visit GreatLakesFinesse.com to see everything we've got. Hey guys, this is Ethan Butler. I'm in the Booyah booth at iCast 2023. I've got the Booyah Finesse Covert Spinner Bait. So this is a new one, actual Bassmaster Classic release this year. A uh, couple cool things about this bait. It's a little bit more compact than the traditional Booyah Covert Series Spinner Baits. So a couple sizes available in this. You got 3 8 ounce, half ounce size. Uh, you don't see a lot of these small spinner baits in that big of a size. So you're really going to be able to bomb this thing out, make long casts with it fish these smaller compact spinner baits a little bit deeper than you can with those others. So um, another cool thing, we've got some new blades on this one that are not available in the regular Covert series. You've got an Oklahoma blade on there, kind of a mix between a Colorado blade and a Willow blade. One of my favorite features on this. I know I'm going to have this thing tied on when the bite gets tough and uh, early in the springtime when I'm trying to get, uh, get those finicky fish in. So. This is a good one from Booyah. Be on the lookout for it. You guys can pick this up at LureNet.com. My name is Andre Newsom, uh, the inventor of the Swim Snake. Uh, this is the first world revolving worm that rotates. And you can use it as a spinner bait. You can use it as a jerk bait, top water. Um, you also can use it as a Texas rig. Uh, it's a versatile bait. It's been popular. It's in a Walmart and Academy right now. Anybody can fish with it. It catch big bass, won tournaments. In, in the state of Georgia. It's an awesome bait. And I'm just, you know, if you want to catch some big fish, this is the product to use. But on the back of it has our uh, QR code back here. So if you um, want to see it swim and do all those great things we, I just discussed, go to the QR code and, fit, and hit your camera and, and zoom in on it, video will pop up. Not only is that there, it also has, if you go to swimmersnake.com, it'll take you to the videos and all the pros that's fishing with the product. Unbelievable product. I don't. I hadn't seen anything like it on the market. I think it's going to be around for years to come because it's a great product. It catches fish. That's what matters to the to the consumer. And we, we priced it right. No more than six ninety five at the moment. If you want to catch good fish and save some money, this is the bait to buy. Swivel is up right here on the head, and you ain't got you don't have to worry about line twists. So that's the beauty of the product. Also, you can turn around and use it as a and if you want to fish the top water, you also can take it. And there you go. Once you hit those lady pads and you burn it on top, they'll, they'll eat it up on top, right? So not only from that perspective, if you want the Texas rig, of course, you go back and put it in the belly and you just bounce it up and down. Now deep water, you can put a sinker on top of it to get it down further. Not only just from that perspective of it, you also can take this bait and use it as a spinner bait. I don't buy spinner baits no more. I don't even have them in my tackle box no more. The reason why I don't do it because this bait give you the same, the same action. The reason why I say that is that my hands are pull through it, push it up, and here we go. You got you got your own spinner bait. So that's 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 the beauty of it. That was we just did top water. We did and here's here's the other way if you wanted to do it. Just as a strong swim bait. You take it, you pull it through. Turn it back around like I just did. Grab it by its tail. There you go. Now, all you're doing, all it's doing is hitting the water and just swimming for you. I mean, you can bounce it and swim it. So the, the bait has four or five ways that you really can, it, that, that catches fish, but a great product to the consumer. That, that's, that's what matters to us most. How are we doing, everybody? Travel Fishman checking in here. ICAST 2023. Who I ran into. You never know who you're gonna run into here at ICAST. But let's have a great time, guys. Let's go. Hey guys, make sure you go check him out at The Traveling Fisherman. You can check me out on TikTok at the Traveling Fisherman, Instagram at the underscore traveling underscore fisherman. Let's go guys. What's up geeks? Uh, Jason from J3 Fishing and Jesus Jackie and Jason Fishing. Uh, we're at ICAST 2023 and I'm standing here. I'm showing off one of our, this is the J3 Cross Depth Charge. It's our bl modular bladed jig. Um, it's part of the J3 Cross family of baits. Um, that we're bringing out and uh, some of you guys may have caught Hank's uh, his, his uh, 
the the red crest uh, the 2023 red crest about us um, but this is just going to give you a little closer look at the bait itself um, so it's got a north south pivoting action right here this bait it provides instantaneous feedback the second you engage your reel handle this thing is providing feedback through the line to the tip of your rod and into your hand so it is constantly bouncing and dancing right um, it also has it has unmatched hunting action so as you're if you're just doing like a steady retrieve and you speed that up with two or three cranks, that thing's gonna dart left or dart right, whichever. I know my hands aren't going in the right direction as my mouth, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it, it has incredible hunting action that's gonna give you that that um, that condition strike and that bass is gonna think that, oh, that bait fish is running away and it's gonna make him just want to step up to the buffet um, another cool thing about the j3 cross depth charge like the j3 cross modular spinnerbait system the mss it is completely interchangeable with a thumb screw that's a pressed in lock nut so you don't have to worry about this thing coming loose ever and it is so cool because it interchanges with the j3 cross modular spinnerbait system right here as you can see so we went from, it's basically the bladed jig that self-identifies as a spinnerbait. Um, only one in the world, only one of its kind. Um, and it is truly one of, it is one of many of the absolutely revolutionary, innovative baits that you will find on the market today. Um, the modular spinnerbait system that you see here also has the north-south pivoting action, allows it to come over cypress stumps like it gets a paycheck to do it it auto tunes as it's coming through the water column. So because it's independent design here that you see, right? Think um, think bass boat and bass boat trailer, right? So it, those of us who got ever backed a trailer up has a, a jackknifed that thing at least one time in their life. Well, when you pull that truck or maybe, I don't know, maybe you've got a 1987 Chevette that you're pulling a, a bass boat with. When you pull that Chevette forward, that bass boat has no other option but to fall in line with the back of that truck. Train locomotive, caboose. It has to follow it. And our design is, it's built around that. When you make your cast and you start your retrieve, the business end of this spinner bait or the depth charge bladed jig for that matter, when you start your retrieve, it has to constantly, want, it's constantly wanting to seek out that vertical wire right there and stay in constant alignment so it's auto tuning i have thrown this thing on a zillion 10 and i cannot get it to roll over it is just it it's an amazing spinner bait um it's complete like i said completely modular um in design you've got right now we've got the spinner bait and it turns into a bladed jig but we've got a few other aces up our sleeve that are coming um so stick with us uh, some other very cool, uh, you know, things about the, the, especially right here with the, the spinner bait, is that you can break this thing down, and you don't have to spin, you don't have to take out a mortgage to get you a spinner bait coffin or anything like that to carry your spinner baits in a fancy little case. Now you can just take that thing apart, and you can put it right next to your square bills. Last year's iCast. We had a 3600 Plano Edge tackle storage system and I packed over 60 spinner baits in that thing with the wires. No other spinner bait company in the world can do that without destroying their wires. Okay, J3 Fishing, if you truly want like revolutionary baits and innovation brought back into bass fishing and not lip service, you need to come to J3 Fishing and you can go right through Hank be a be a bass geek and come to us and get the get with the J3 Army. www.j3fishing.com. This is Matt with Echo Bait Company. We're here at ICAST 2023. Uh, we brought down some lures that we have designed. These lures are designed for forward-facing sonar to be able to see further away from the boat. They return a brighter signal back to you. It helps you watch your bait while you target fish. We have a brand new here tomahawk head 
It is designed to drop really fast down to the fish that are moving. We also have a head here that's made for either 2D or straight down forward facing sonar. Uh, it picks up really good. And then we also have a bonnet head that is designed to fish from like zero down to about 30 foot of water. So the angle's correct to be able to see the sonar the best. Our primary target here is to catch Domeki style fishing. Um, the heads are used for lots of different uses, but Domeki seems to be what everybody's looking for right now. You can go to echobaitco.com. You can find us online there. Hey guys, Jimmy Reese here. We're at ICAS coming out with the new products for Yamamoto. So what I have in my hand here is a scope shad. So the scope shad is basically, you could you, there's a couple ways you can use it. Um, guys are really using it for a drop shot. It's a full body bait. As you can see, as I turn it here, you know, it's a full body bait, different profile. So, you know, fish are actually gonna be able to see it better, um, but it also, it looks real. So, um, you know, I, most guys are actually threading on a hook and so getting the hook to come down to here so uh you know the hook the hook point is exposed so just a drop shot um style is a great way to to use this uh the new um scope shad but guys are also you know as we're, the the times are changing and the people are scoping more and forward facing sonar you know they're also utilizing like a, a shaky head or a ball head or just something a little different that you can actually work this on the bottom so maybe like a goby maybe get a goby color on all the, uh, the great lakes and, and the smallmouth fisheries um, so they're just taking a, a, a jig head and casting it out you know if they're not eating the drop shot they'll eat this so on, on a ball head so anyways just the uh, the scope shad great full body bait and you want to check it out this comes in a lot of different colors you know so you know whatever you're trying to match if you're trying to match the shad trying to match uh, the goby or whatever you know the the uh, the perch you know so you can match the the bait that's in the lake that's near you so another uh, bait I want to show you is the, uh, the the full body worm so th this this is <laughs> check this out guys all those ledge fishermen come on let's go so you got a full body worm here um, you know and, and it's it's gonna float a little bit. So it's gonna have a lot of action, a ton of action. So most guys, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a wacky style. We're gonna either have a little bit of weight, um, a weighted hook, uh, but basically we're gonna do a wacky style. You know, you'll see guys throwing this on a big jig head, you know, five eighths ounce, a three quarter ounce jig head. But I think most of the guys are gonna be throwing this out on the ledges, under docks, around the vegetation, around the brush, and just uh, utilizing so many different, you know, applications of, of this bait. So, I mean, you can you can do so many different things with this. I mean, you can cut it and, and work it on a shaky head, a smaller profile bait. I mean, you got a whole body worm there. So anyways, just another great product by Yamamoto. So that's the uh, the big worm that, that just came out. So make sure you guys check that out. One more bait I want to share with you guys, the Fat Cinco. So this is the five inch Fat Cinco. Okay, well, as we all know, the Cinco works. But here's a larger profile. You know, I live in uh, California on Clear Lake, and what I do know is the bigger fish always eat the bigger baits. So, and it can't just be Clear Lake. We all know across the U.S., a bigger bait is gonna catch bigger fish. So, a fat Cinco. So that's the five inch version. A lot of colors, all the colors you guys like. So, uh, make sure you guys check that out again. You know, if you like throwing it as, as a Nico rig, put a little weight in the bottom, and then a wacky style hook, you know, with a, with an O-ring or no O-ring, whatever you like to do on that, or you can just throw it, uh, you know, weightless, which is my favorite way of throwing it around the vegetation, around the docks, under the docks. So um, anything floating, anything with shade, just a, a great, great way to throw this thing. So that's the five inch Fat Cinco. So Yamamoto, they're moving with the times and they keep bringing new products, so make sure you guys check them out. Brandon Cobb, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro here, talking about some ARC reels. These are new reels for this year, and I've been using the G7 all year, and it's a phenomenal reel. But now we've got more models kind of fill some of the gaps between the G5 and G7. One of the newest reels we have here is the G1. And what this reel is, it's just an economical reel. It's a $79 reel. 
but still in typical arc fashion, it's high quality. It's an aluminum frame, so it's a little bit heavier in the G7. That's where you save your cost. It's uh, still a tournament class reel. I mean, it's got most of the same attributes as the G7, but slightly heavier because you cut down some of that cost with the aluminum frame. This is a reel I'd be perfectly happy with to use in a tournament, and it's only $79. So it's a uh, unique, cheap, cheaper tournament class reel. Our next bait caster we came out, this is a unique reel. This right here is called the BFS. And this uh, is kind of a new, <clears throat> a new concept that a lot of companies are just getting on board with. It's a popular thing in California, a popular, popular finesse thing. And this is an ultra lightweight reel that's designed to, for, for finesse fishing. Anything you do with a spinning rod, you know, eight pound test, really six pound test and less. Super finesse stuff, tiny micro jigs, little bitty Ned rigs, things like that. This is a bait caster that can cast that. This reel will actually cast a bare hook with four pound test. So it's, that's what it's designed for, super lightweight casting. Anything you can get, you'd be more efficient with a casting setup rather than a spinning setup. It's got this ultra lightweight spool you can see here and it just spins forever. I mean, it's with four pound, six pound test, it's, that's what it's designed for. And it's a super lightweight reel up north, you know, a hair jig. And I'm excited for it, kind of a concept us down south would like to use it for. I think it'll cast a lightweight balsa crankbait really, really good. So that's why I'm excited to try it for in, you know, this upcoming spring here. This is the BFS, this is a unique reel. And then the final one, this reel here is the G8. And this is basically the same thing as the G7, but with weight knocked down. This reel is only about six ounces, super light, and it's a, it's a good reel. Like if you had some lighter bait, some jerk bait, something that you need a light reel to not wear yourself out all day, that's what we made the G8 for. Same attributes as the G7, literally, essentially internally the same reel with some weight knocked off. That's what it is, lighter frame, a little higher quality uh, frame to get that weight down. It's the G8 and it's available in diff different gear ratios. Obviously, I prefer seven to one. That's just my go-to. But that is the three new bait casters we have. And now the last reel, this is a reel I'm really excited about. This is the GS5. This is the 2500 and there's also a 3000 spinning reel. If you've been watching me this year on the Elite Series, you know I've caught a ton of fish on a wacky worm. I've actually haven't been able to let it out yet because we didn't have them but now we've got them this is the reel i've been using all year almost every fish i've caught on a wacky worm this year i've caught on this gs5 reel it's a super great spin reel smooth drag and it is one of the best spin reels i've ever used for sure we've got a few other ones coming down the line but this is the one releasing this year and it's a mid-range reel i think it's about 139 dollars so it's a, a mid-range reel and it does everything a lot of high-end reels will. You'll be real happy with it. I've been real happy. I've caught, I don't know how many uh, hundreds of pounds of bass on it this year, and uh, it's been really good to me. This is one of the reels I'm most excited about here. It's the GS5 2500. These four right here is the new reels from Mark for this year at iCast. Hey guys, KJ Queen here. Austin here. We're talking about cool products just coming out, iCast 2023, Queen Tackle. We got ourselves a Queen Tackle ping jig. It's a tungsten hair jig. Just come out on the market. Really cool, really unique. Forward facing sonar, the future of fishing, right here in my hands. And Next. also, the LS tungsten underspin. Sweet, it's gonna stick with the, the live sonar. You don't have to worry about not getting the ping on the live sonar. You gotta stay with the age, and this is the new age. QueenTackle.com, y'all go check them out. What's really cool and unique about this product, like I said, that forward-facing sonar, that is the future of bass fishing. That's what everybody's doing now, and if you don't have tungsten, you're at a disadvantage. And you wanna be at a, an advantage, go ahead and switch to tungsten, see the difference, feel the difference, make the difference in your day out on the water. Over and out. Hi, I'm John Johnson with O2 Air and Sea. We're here today with uh, Fish Lung Products, a brand new product we just came out with, and we're debuting here at, at ICAST. We're really proud of it. It's something that we've worked on now for about 10 years, really worked hard on for the last five. We've got three patents on this system. We've got a fourth in route. And, and just to kind of run through the system of what we have, We've got the, uh, the fish lung control box here, and we've got a bracket on this side, which consists of a unibody. We've got 
a uh, moisture filter, a moisture separator, and we have a stone, and then we've got, which this is a specialized stone, we'll go over that a little bit more in a minute, but it's a micro diffuser, and then we've got tubing to connect everything, of course. And inside the control box, we have a compressor, we have a printed circuit board, we have a valving system, and there's a fan to cool everything. So what happens is the compressor sends air over to the uh, water separator, and it comes out of the water separator, goes to a moisture filter, comes out of the moisture filter, goes back into the control box through our uh, four-way valving system that's controlled by the printed circuit board, and then it forces air across the filtering system over in the unibody. And then when you, we force air across a filtering system that strips out the nitrogen, and the output is oxygen out the bottom that goes to our diffuser. And that process, it alternates eight seconds from one side and then to the other, and it repeats. We have, over here, we've set up uh, two tanks, approximately 20 to 25 gallons in these tanks. Both tanks are set up identically. They have a, uh, what would be a live well pump and a spray head that's gonna be present in just about any bass boat that you're gonna buy today. And then our, on, on our side, we've got a fish lung set up in one as well. And one of the things that you'll notice when you look at is the, is the quantity of bubbles in the fish lung tank versus the quantity of bubbles in the regular live well. And then you'll also notice the size of those bubbles. Those bubbles in our fish lung system are significantly smaller. The benefit of a smaller bubble is that bubble is gonna stay suspended in your water column a lot longer, which makes it more beneficial for your fish. Also, the smaller bubble is gonna be a lot easier for a fish to absorb through its gills. And then you take into account that each one of the bubbles that's in the fish lung tank is approximately 50 to 60 percent oxygen. The benefit is just obvious at that point. You can go to our website at fishlung.com. Uh, we're open to take orders at this time. Um, please go to the website and, and, and look at some of the information we have. There's a, there's a lot of myths out there in fish gear. What actually works and what does not work. The bottom line is oxygen is key to keep anything alive. So that's what we're doing. We're putting oxygen in a tank in a safe manner so that fish can survive. What's up guys, Caleb Sutton here. We're at the Busby Modular Tackle Storage Beer and we're checking out all of the Busby product line and we're also gonna check out the new product at the very end. Um, so Busby is known for tackle storage, super high quality premium tackle storage. Um, right here we have our colony tackle boxes, what we're mainly known for. This is the Colony 15 Thin. Um, Buzzy's known for three things. Durability, customization, and protection of your tackle. So first is the most durable box in the market. The lid's made from the same material as bulletproof glass. The bottom's made from the same material as hard hats, football helmets. Everything's 316 stainless. When you open it up, it has a waterproof and airtight gasket. So nothing's ever going to, uh, water's not gonna get in there, rust all your stuff out. Coolest thing about it are these modular bins. We actually have a patent pinning on this. All these bins actually snap out. So they go both vertical and they go horizontal. So it allows you to customize the box however you want. And then once you give them to place, you just press them in and they actually lock into place, right? And so they're locked in tight. They're not gonna fall out or anything like that. A lot of people really like Busby boxes for your terminal tackle, smaller split rings, uh, sw split rings, swivels, etc. Because with other boxes, you have little dividers, little pieces go underneath or over the top. Um, with these, it's a bin, so it's impossible to go underneath. But then we have these squares in the lid here, so it creates a seal on the top as well. So nothing's gonna go from one bin to another. Um, but the boxes did really, really well. We have six different sizes of the boxes now. Um, but that's what we're really known for. But everyone said, hey, we love Busby boxes. What do we do with them? Where do we store them? So we came out with these swarm bags. These are made from the same material as white water rafts. So they're puncture resistant, they're waterproof, they're airtight. You can actually take all the boxes out, zip it up, and you can't squeeze any of the air out. So it's pretty awesome. It sells, you can either get it with four boxes or empty. You also have these pool tabs. So you can organize them and easily just kind of pull them out. Um, then we kind of thought outside the box, right? And we went with bags. So these are the same size as your tackle boxes. This is a 3,700 size bag. Um, and we have like the 3,600 size as well. And we have the deep versions as well. But these are great for clamshell packages. Um, like you can see, we have some clamshells and those are just a pain in the ass, hard to, hard to store. Um, but they're great for storing clamshell packs, etc. cetera. Um, but because they're the same size as your 3,700 size tackle boxes, you can actually pull out a box 
and then put them in all the same compartments. So like in your boat or in bags, etc. cetera. Um, last, we have these kind of fast flat bags. Um, this is my favorite size, it's the half extra large. It's perfect for storing bags of soft plastics. You can easily see what you have. I'll, I'll do a, a certain style and I'll do my different colors behind it. And then you can easily just kind of open it up, open the bag up, flip through your different colors, pull out whatever you want. And then all you do is pull this flap, zip it back up. And actually we have the rod covers. So once again, organizing your tackle, etc. Rod covers, you can do it by color. We have both casting and spinning si uh, sizes. It's that neoprene material, so it's all hook resistant. Um, so yeah, so this is Busby. This is at the iCast 2023. Um, hope you all like the products. You can check out all the Busby products at busby.com. Guys, as you can see, we're down here working our tails off at iCast. It is over. Well, it's still going on, but me and Joey got done a little bit early. So we decided we'd partake in a little bit of pool and a little bit of pate and uh, relax before we got to leave in the morning. So guys, I hope you like some of the stuff that you've seen, some of the baits that you've seen. As always, well, you want to say hi to anybody, by the way? Um, I have a gang back home, my family, and uh, it's been quite an experience. I finally got to see what ICAST is like for the first time. And it's uh, it's something else. I it's, hope to get the invite again next year. It is. Hey, of course, he knows he's always welcome. As always, questions, comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell. 100% watch squad, baby. You guys make the dream come true. We're going to sit here and do a little work. See you.